I'm uh, Peter Marsh, Managing Director of Turbo Dynamics. Um, we're based down in Christchurch. And I'm here with uh, a new product that we just launched. There's two basic types of turbocharger fitted onto the Subaru engine. Um, the single scroll or single volute housing, which is probably more common. Um, but these engines that take the, the twin entry turbine housing such as this are becoming more popular now. And many people who had the twin entry turbocharger were swapping over to the single entry unit with different pipe work from the from exhaust. The, the main thing was that the housing had to exactly mimic the standard VF36 or VF37 IHI housing in terms of flange fitment. Um, so externally it had to be not identical but uh, pretty much the same. And the, the main criteria was that it was to fit a, a Garrett ball bearing cartridge assembly, which is what we use on the single signal volute housings and it's been very successful over the last sort of eight, eight nine years. And uh, that was the, the main thing. We, we wanted to, to make the housing with two volute sizes, the volute being the, the internal scroll of the, the turbine housing, and also three or four different trim sizes of turbine wheel. And this was going to enable us to, to produce a range of turbochargers that would suit power applications or power outputs from anywhere between sort of 350 horsepower right up to 500 horsepower. Um, we have them manufactured and uh, cast by a foundry in the UK and uh, this foundry is, is making turbocharger turbine housings for all the manufacturers, Garrett, Paul Warner and some of the commercial um, manufacturers as well. So it's, it's sort of OE quality and we're very proud that it's been manufactured in the UK. I think this, this housing and the request for us to, to manufacture it was very much on the back of the success of the single scroll or single volute housing that we produced a few years ago and it's been amazingly successful. You know these, these cars are producing horsepower ranging from sort of four, 450 horsepower but the, the lag is very very similar or lack of lag is very similar to the standard application. So if you like, you're getting your cake and eating it. You're getting big horsepower, but very, very drivable. A apart from producing this housing for Litchfield, at the same time we, we embarked on a, a project of producing some new compressor housings, both to suit this application, but also to go on our previous single scroll turbochargers. And we, we wanted to produce a, a compressor housing that had an integral actuator bracket on it where previously we were welding these aluminium brackets onto the Garrett housings. Um, the other criteria was that we wanted to produce a, a larger volute housing because we were experiencing a sort of limitation on the original 0 0.60 air ratio housings uh, that they were starting to stifle the, the ultimate power output. So we, we wanted to produce the same as before, the 0 0.60 air ratio but also the next stage up, which was a 0 0.70 air ratio. And this was going to allow us to release you know, more power for the future. Um, and apart from that, we, our other criteria was to also produce a housing that suited the, the new fly-by-wire throttle applications, um, which the standard housings won't fit. They foul with the fly-by-wire mechanism. So this was a new design altogether and it had a sort of a, a droopy neck on the outlet of the compressor housing. So with that in mind we, we set about designing it from the, from the ground up using a 3D CAD package and model the, the, the housings up as a complete assembly and then from that sort of produce the, the uh, pattern equipment um, models and again they've been cast in the UK which is yeah just what we wanted. We have, I think, with the two volute sizes, the two different styles of housing, um, sorry, four different styles of housing with or without the bracket, and all the different inlet configurations and um, trim sizes of compressor, we have, I think, about 70 or 80 different variants on that housing. So it's, it's really opened up the scope of what we can do now with, with all the Subaru applications. In producing a housing like this, it's very much starting from the inside and working out. And a turbine housing revolves very much around the, 
the volute, which is the internal um, throat or scroll, and it's a, it's an ever decreasing sort of helix, if you if you can imagine it on its own, um, starting with the the aperture on the turbine inlet, and then it it flows round, getting ever ever decreasing and smaller, and it comes out at this area here, which is the, the tongue area, and this is where it's all made or lost in a turbine housing. Exhaust gas enters the turbine housing and as it comes around the volute it's obviously speeding up in its velocity and at the, the final exit point is where it hits the turbine blades and that's what causes the, the turbine to spin. Um, so in producing something that our criteria was that we wanted to produce the turbine housing to give good flow capacity for, for bigger horsepower but also maintain the, the very, very best spool up times. Thank you.